Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Inside. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at doing dual coin mining of Ethereum and Lithium within the latest T-Rex miner. We've already covered this extensively in Windows, but today we're going to be focusing exclusively on HiveOS. If you haven't already subscribed, smash down on that subscribe button. Stick with me, let's get started. For my demonstration today, I'm going to be using a dedicated test rig of all six LHR cards. Let me show you what my rig looks like. Here's my dedicated test rig. I have a MSI Gaming X Trio 3060 V2, Zotec 3060 Ti, EVGA 3070 LHR, Bounders Edition 3070 Ti, EVGA 3080 LHR, and an EVGA RTX 3080 Ti for the wind car. These cars are situated on a rig that has exceptional ventilation, and it's running on an HROC H110 Pro BTC motherboard, and it's powered by a server power supply, 1200 watts, as well as an EVGA 1300 watt G2 power supply. So I have plenty of power for this rig to test. For this video, I'm going to be using the same overclocks that I previously shared in a recent video on using the latest T-Rex miner in Hive OS. And this was giving me fantastic results solo mining Ethereum. But as it turns out, these same overclocks work as a fantastic basis for doing dual coin mining of Ethereum and Lithium. I'll be putting a link down below in case you want to make reference or see the specifics of those overclocks that I've covered in that previous video. Using those overclock settings gave me fantastic results, solo mining Ethereum and Hive OS using the latest T-Rex miner. But the key indicator that's missing from this is how much electricity did it use? What was my wattage? So I also had recorded too at the time that I made that video, the wattage I was seeing numbers at the wall were about 1200 watts for this whole mining rig. So all six of these LHR cards running just solo mining Ethereum gave me about 1200 watts. So keep that number in mind. We're gonna be referring back to it later because when we do dual coin mining, we seem to be able to maintain a very comparable, almost identical amount of Ethereum. However, we're able to now start mining a second coin like Alephium at the same time. But the price we pay though is typically higher electricity and how high that electricity is, we're gonna see in a little bit as we start doing dual mining of Ethereum and Alephium. If you're new to dual coin mining, it's very easy to set up and implement within Hive OS. I've created a new flight sheet, and in this flight sheet, I have my normal Ethereum, my Ethereum wallet, as well as I'm mining this on Flexpool. And T Rex, you can see, is specified as the miner. However, there's a dual coin, which I set for Alephium, and I need an Alephium wallet. If you don't already have a wallet, we already created a video on how to do mining of Alephium as well as within the T-Rex miner. So definitely check out that video because there's a whole section in there on how to create an Alephium wallet. So once you have your dual coin, your dual wallet, and then you're just gonna have to choose your mining pool. So I'm using Wooly Pooly because I hear right now it's getting more higher hash rate than I'm getting using heroes at this time if you have a different experience i'd love to know so please drop a comment down below so i can make everyone aware of it but holy pulley then too you're just going to go in and you're going to configure the pool to find a pool that's within your vicinity closest to you so you can get the fastest ping rate and with that set up i'm all set to go key point i want to identify though too is, is earlier in the video we showed how to set up the lhr tune as well as the intervals and step sizes now, when I'm doing dual coin mining, I'll often leave those values as stock. I will not normally change or adjust them, at least for my initial settings. I want the miner to calibrate and figure out what's its best way you can get the highest amount of Ethereum as well, still get me a, a substantial amount of Alephium at the same time. So it's really as simple as that, and that's how you'd configure it. If you want to do this in Windows, we actually have a whole nother video on doing T-Rex Ethereum and Alephium mining. So we have a whole nother video on that. I'll be putting a link down below in case you want to see how to do that. But we're going to be focusing for the rest of this video exclusively on Hive. I have Hive OS doing dual mining of Ethereum and Lithium at the same time. And I'm getting great results. Look at this, my hash rate for the Ethereum is almost identical to what it was when I was solo mining it alone. Except now I'm picking up an additional 4.59 giga hash of Lithium at the same time. If I want to compare what does it look like when I was solo mining Ethereum versus now dual mining Ethereum and Lithium, I see I am getting almost the same amount of Ethereum. On the left portion of the screen, you see the solo Ethereum. And my summary for that is 357.5 mega hash. But now dual mining it on the right, you see I am at 352.4. Wow, that's huge. That's basically five mega hash 
loss just to do dual mining, which is less than 1%. I'm picking up 4.59 giga hash of a lithium at the same time to do this. Now, how does that number as I look at the wall? Because I know I'm paying a price with additional electricity. If I look at my mining rig, I see I am at about 1500 watts overall. 14.99.15, yeah, so about 1500 watts to do that. So to gain that additional 4.59 giga hash of a lithium and lose a couple of mega hash of uh, Ethereum, I'm giving up an additional 300 watts to do that. If I want to get an idea of the profitability and how that may be affected now by dual mining, I can look at what to mine. So jumping over to what to mine, I've pre-plugged in the numbers from our mining sessions. I have this hash rate here, the power, the cost, and I calculated and I'm getting about $9.65 a day. Well, that's low, but that's for the six card LHR rig and that's after electricity costs. But a new great feature about what to mine is its ability to easily calculate dual coin mining. So I've also come into what to mine and I've looked up for Ethereum as well as Alephium. I've pre-plugged in these values as well as I've made sure my block reward and difficulty were the same for the Ethereum. And I am getting, wow, $10.45 a day. So that's a good jump then from what I was just getting just on the Ethereum mining alone. So it's $10.45 a day versus $9.65 a day. However, I have not cashed out my Alephium yet, so I do not know the transaction fees are involved with cashing it out through Gate.io. And I'm going to be definitely cashing some of it out so I can get some of those estimates and report some numbers for you going forward. If you have some numbers on cashing out Alephium or experience with it, please I'd love to know drop a comment down below but these are just great results overall and now the ability to use these overclock settings to now do dual mining and not sacrifice the ethereum that's to me the huge win with this latest version of the t-rex miner 25.8 and that's one thing if you're going to be looking to do dual coin mining definitely makes it worthwhile to upgrade it although these overclocks work really good on single coin mining like ethereum as well as Ethereum and Alephium. I know there's some room. I could push these overclocks a little bit higher on some of the cards, like the 3070. I know I could push them up a little bit more, but I just want to give you kind of a good starting point to give you some good values, and hopefully you can get higher profits out of your cards. I hope you've enjoyed this video and seeing how easy it is to set up dual coin mining within Hive OS using the latest T-Rex miner to mine coins like Ethereum and Alephium at the same time, extremely efficiency without giving up much of the Ethereum portion at all. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more Hive OS content, please give me a big thumbs up like. Don't forget to smash down on that subscribe button to show your support for our channel as well as be notified of future video updates. We welcome all your questions and comments. Please put them down below. Till next time, stay safe. Happy mining!